Hi, Rev, it's Sarah from Ireland. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. How does it feel to be in Amsterdam? Is it your first time? This is my first time in Amsterdam. I literally arrived here, I think, about an hour ago, so I'm super excited to be here. Really? Yeah, it was kind of rushed when we got here, but like, like, look at this place. It's amazing, like, but I can't wait to actually see it tomorrow morning. Ah, okay. That's great. Well, you look great for like, for one oh, hour rest. You're just being nice. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> and how does it feel to represent your country? Oh, it's such an incredible feeling. It's such an incredible feeling as a singer to say, I represent my own country in the Eurovision. It's something you're going to remember for the rest of your life. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know. So it's, yeah, it's incredible. It's amazing. You also participate in The Voice. Are you going to use the experience you got for this big adventure? Yeah, so with The Voice, like, I think I was a lot younger. It was before I had my baby. I wouldn't have been as confident. Um, and I think that has taught me a lot of life lessons. So, like, with that, I've taken everything that I've learned from The Voice and every bit of life experience, and I've just jumbled them up and made a big smoothie, and now I'm ready for the Eurovision. So, yeah. that, that's amazing. That's a big, great recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your expectations for Eurovision Song Contest? You know, I feel like we're gonna do well. Um, but like I'm the type of person I won't say any negative, so like positive vibes only, you know. We're gonna do well. I'm gonna sing the best I've ever sang in my whole life. Um, not in a cocky way, but just in a you know, do you ever the secret? Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. yes. The secret. I'm about the secret, so you make lists and gratitude and <laughs> all this you know what you know what's funny is that in January I I stopped singing for a while because of my baby and some of that like I kinda got like post depression and stuff like that. So in January I was like, you know what? Music is gonna happen for me again. And I made a list, I made a gratitude list. I got a call from Archie about a week later saying, Hey, do you wanna do an audition for Eurovision? So you make you make these things happen in your head. Whoa. So we could we could be strong contenders in this competition. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. Minds. <laughs> wow, yeah, the best things come unexpected, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And how old is your child? It's two. Two. Uh, yeah. Is she going with you in Israel? No, because terrible twos. She goes to bed at half seven. Uh, it's a 20 hour flight from Ireland to Israel, connected flights, layovers. That wouldn't be fair in her. Uh, she, like, I brought her over to England there the other day on a 40 minute flight and she screamed the whole way there. So oh, really? I couldn't do oh. it to her. So she's staying with her dad. Um, her dad's from the UK. So she's staying with her dad in the UK okay. while mom comes over and I'm going over. My whole family's going over. But it just it's not fair to her. And even to bring her into the arena, like, it finishes really late. She goes to bed at half seven, you know? So, yeah. like, if she was older 100% I would love to bring her but she's just not the right time she's just a baby you know? yeah true oh that's really sweet though she will support you from the heart <laughs> oh yeah like she watches TV now and she sees me she goes that's mommy <laughs> mommy what are you doing like, oh, <laughs> that's really cute yeah <laughs> oh. and do we also have uh, stage ideas for Israel already are you working on the concept is it still in progress mm, we've it sorted okay yeah or do we have it sorted ah uh, true it's a big yeah, yeah. secrets you're yeah. from the secrets yeah so, yeah, so I, I, like, unfortunately, I would love to tell you what we're doing, but unfortunately, I can't tell you like what we're kind of planned for our stage. And what do you think we, we should do? Um, well, I saw your performance on Dancing with the Stars. It yeah. was really cute. So, if it's something with that concept, with retro concept, it would be it work, could work really well. Mm, yeah, I'll I, take, I'll I take would love it. Yeah, I'll take note. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also by 22, like we all have a little imagination. If you reach the final, it will be so funny if you perform on number 22. Yeah, I know, right? Because I think that's gonna happen. Like positive vibes, put it out there, make that's it. That's great. That's a great mindset. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and do you have advice for viewers who want to sing? out there achieve your goals sing it doesn't matter who hears you who doesn't hear you sing write music perform wherever you want to perform and just do it yes thank you